Hey guys, ModsLink here with another tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how to manually install firmware 3.60 to your PS Vita or your PS TV. So, as you guys are aware, Henkaku was recently released for the PS Vita. Henkaku is just an exploit which gets a kernel level access to the PS Vita. So in order to do that you need firmware 3.60. The current latest firmware is 3.63. So if you're able to find a PS Vita that has an older firmware and you need to manually update it without getting online, then you will want to follow this tutorial. This is not a tutorial on how to downgrade a console as a, there is no way to downgrade a console currently. So if you're just updating the console, go ahead and watch this video and follow along. If you're using a PS TV, all you need is a USB flash drive and a computer. And if you're using a PS Vita, you need obviously your PS Vita, your USB cable, and you need to have QCMA set up. If you need help with that, watch the video in the description and you'll see how to set up QCMA on your computer. So we'll go ahead and explain how you do it on the PS TV first. So get a USB flash drive. So here on your computer, go ahead and plug in your flash drive. And you want to format this flash drive as FAT32. Now after you've formatted your flash drive, Go ahead and open it in a new window. So you'll have this here. And you will need to download this file here. You can find this file over on modslink.com forward slash downloads. You will see that right here under the 3.60 update files. So download this. And this is this zip file here. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and extract it. You will end up with these two files here. And all you need to do is grab this folder and drag it over to your flash drive. Once that's done transferring, you eject your flash drive, and then take it over to your PSTV, go to system settings, system update and update via USB. I don't have a PS TV that I can show you this with so it's pretty straightforward it's just like updating a PS3 or a PS4 and you can see the instructions here on the PlayStation.com website. Now for the PS Vita we need to do something slightly different so we'll go ahead and delete these files as we don't need them anymore. Alright, so for the PS Vita, go ahead and download this file, which is right here under the 3.60 update files and the PS Vita link. And you will end up with this here, which is this one. Then go ahead and extract it. And you will end up with the PSV updates folder. And here there's a one file that you need to modify if you're outside the US. So I've included this regions txt file which has all the different types of regions and there's more regions here if you can't find yours or if your PSV won't update. Then you need to get this file here and edit it with any text editor, notepad or notepad plus plus or whatever and change this region ID. Again, this is only if you're outside the US. Change it to match whatever region you're in. And go ahead and close this out. If you're in the US, then you don't need to worry about anything. And you can just get this folder here and go over to My PC Documents, or if you're on Windows 7, it'll be My Computer and My Documents. And then you will see this PSV Updates folder and you basically just put the contents of this folder in there. Or you can just get this folder and drag it into my documents or documents folder. It'll replace everything here and then you need to make sure QCMA is enabled. 
So you have QCMA running here. Right click on it, go into settings, and then click on others here. And make sure this option is unchecked. This way it'll look into that XML file. And click OK. Now go over to your PS Vita and plug it in. First off, hold the PS button and make sure you're in airplane mode so your system doesn't update to a different firmware. And here I'll show you my settings. So here is my console, system, and system information. There you can see it's already on 3.60. So I can't show you the update process, but I can show you what you need to do. First off, go into system update and then update by connecting to a PC. QCMA will give you a notification here saying that the PS Vita is requesting an update and then you can update it if you don't have that firmware installed. I've already got it installed so it's saying that it has the, the latest firmware already. After your console has updated, you need to make sure you scroll all the way down to system and auto start settings. Make sure all of these are unchecked so that you don't download any software updates automatically. And then go back, back. And if your console for whatever reason downloads a new firmware update, it'll pop up here in this bubble. And you can go in here and select it and then manually delete it. Once you have updated your console over to firmware 3.60, you can take advantage of all these hacks and exploits that have been released such as Molecular Shell or Henkaku and Tai Henkaku, Vita Shell, and Adrenaline, which is a full custom firmware PSP emulator for your PS Vita. And if you need help setting up uh, Henkaku or QCMA, look in the video's description or look at the playlist at the end of this video. That is pretty much it for this tutorial on how to update your PS Vita and PS TV to firmware 3.60 if you're coming from a lower firmware. If you're coming from a higher firmware, I'm sorry but there's no way to downgrade your console right now. If you guys found it helpful or informative, please remember to like, comment, favorite, or share the video. Also consider subscribing if you enjoy videos such as this one, and consider checking out some of these sponsors down in the video's description. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.